Assalam o Alaikum and welcome to Path Loss 5 training series. In this video, we will see that how we can design a point to multi point link in Path Loss 5. As you know, that Path Loss 4 was not able to design point to multi point links, and this capability has just been introduced in Path Loss 5. So let's see how in Path Loss 5 we can design a point to multi point link. If you see this icon of an arrow with a single link, this is the icon for point to point link mode. If you are if you <coughs> press this icon, then you will be in the point to point mode. But the icon adjacent to this icon, this is the icon with a point to multi point kind of link. So in this mode you can in this mode you can design point to multi point link. But before you can design a point to multi point link, because in point to multi point link you have a base station which is connected to multiple antennas on different sites. So you have to de designate one site as a base station. So before starting to make a point to multi point network you have to designate all of your base station sites. So let me tell you how you can designate a site to be a base station. For example, if we want to designate this site as a base station, so if we right click on this site, we will have a drop down menu and in this menu you can see that there is the option of base station and create dash edit. So with this option you can either create or edit or delete a base station. <coughs> so when we click on create or dash edit, a window will be a small window will be opened. Now on this window this is the site name and here you will tell that what kind of technology you are using. It could be a microwave or it could be a land mobile system. What frequency you will be using? If you are using a very low frequency, then you will have to have the equipment and the antenna files for this system. So, <coughs> assuming that you have the antenna files or uh, and equipment files for a land mobile system, then you will have to fill all these points, all these arrows. Like you have to click the station data arrow. Once you will click the station data arrow, the station data window will open. In this window, you have to provide the data for the base station. So if you will click this base antenna file and you will click this arrow, your antenna file index will open and then you have to select the antenna that you want to put here. Same in the remote side as well, that if you will click this arrow, the remote antenna file will open, file index will open. And if you will click this arrow, then base radio file index will open and then you will have to select the base radio, base station radio that you are using here. And same goes for the remote radio that you have to put the remote radio station that you are using here. Then you can give the downlink uplink frequency and downlink uplink channel IDs, what polarization you are using, for which sector you are making all this information. And if you have a transmission line between the radio and the antenna, then you have to provide the transmission line model as well. Then from here you can select that if you are using FDMA or TDMA and what is the duplex technology being used. So let me show you that how a filled form will look like. Like I have filled this form using the normal microwave antennas and radios because I don't have the low frequency base stations but just to show you that it all has to be filled before you can go ahead. So if we fill all this base station antenna then we can go back to our this small window and then we can put the antenna heights. This uh, number 2 arrow we have to click. So here we will tell path loss that what is the base station antenna height what is the remote antenna height and what is the transmission line length that we are using. So once you put all these values, 
then you can click the check mark so if you provide these two things still you can make a site to the base station now this site is no more a simple site now this is a base station site and now we can connect multiple links to this site for example i connect two links to this site and then i can do the planning and design of both of these links separately so for example i did the planning of one of the link in the same way i will do the planning of the other link and in this way we can do a point to multi point network planning using path loss 5 i hope this video was uh, informative for you because uh, this is a very new thing in path loss uh, in path loss 4 which is more widely used we don't have this uh, point to multi point systems so if you have any question any comment regarding this video please contact me through my email or through linkedin and please subscribe to my channel so that you can be informed about any new window being uploaded and uh, hope to see you in my next video assalamu alaikum